Here at the National Heart Center in Libya's capital Tripoli, Al Atafi Al Mitwali prepares to perform open heart surgery. He's a pediatric heart surgeon visiting from Egypt. In previous years, the government has spent billions of dollars sending Libyans abroad for treatment. Now it's focusing on bringing in foreign doctors at a fraction of the cost. The government estimates it will spend more than $50 million treating Libyans abroad this year, while foreign teams coming in will cost a fraction of that at around $4 million. Uh, our colleague here from Libya, uh, they do some things and uh, there are missing part. And I, I think uh, one of the objectives so of our missions like that, uh, besides to do operations, is to upgrade the local team here in, uh, in Libya. Dozens of families have come seeking treatment for their children at this public hospital. Kebir Mia works for a humanitarian organization that has brought in a team of Turkish pediatric cardiologists. Well, there are thousands of people on the waiting list, literally thousands on each, in each hospital, in Tajura and in Tripoli Medical Center. And we're only dealing with about 50, 60 cases on every mission. Uh, this is the most we can do. Mohammed Al Saadi is a year and a half. His family came from Jufra, about 650 kilometers southeast of Tripoli. A screening confirms he has pulmonic valve stenosis, a type of heart disease. We heard about the team of doctors, so we came to Tripoli. It's a long journey, and renting a place in Tripoli has been difficult financially. But thanks to God, the most important thing is my son gets better. Most of the patients here can't afford treatment abroad or in private clinics. Many of them have been waiting for weeks, some for months, for their procedures. Mohammed al Atrish says the money spent to send one person abroad for treatment can cover more than 20 people here in Libya. There's no doubt that the number of people benefiting from this program is much higher. It's not just a financial benefit. Training and developing local staff means Libyans can perform these operations in the future. More than 10 years of conflict has had a devastating impact on an already struggling health sector. Libya has seen relative calm since a nationwide ceasefire was signed in 2020. That's allowed the government to begin work on improving medical services and give people here hope that things can get better. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.